So the, uh, the new, quote unquote, new but mainstream surgical procedure for weight loss surgery now, something that is emerging, is something called the sleeve gastrectomy. Let me back up by saying that uh, the lap band started about 10 years ago in this country and really exploded in popularity. It was simple, it was an in and, in and out the same day procedure, no invasiveness, no cutting of intestine. There was a lot of promise and hope and enthusiasm for this procedure uh, as an additional treatment to the gastric bypass, which has been around for 30 years, but is of course much more extensive and uh, has a higher risk than, than the other procedures. The banding, however, now that we're 10 years into it, has been shown to be somewhat challenging to, to the American public in terms of compliance, and we're seeing that there is a, a long-term risk of reoperation as high as 30 to 40 percent. So although the short-term risk is you know, single-digit percentage in terms of risk, in the long term, these patients, many of them are looking forward to further surgical procedures. So what has emerged and is gaining popularity and perhaps stealing patients from the band and the bypass is something called the sleeve gastrectomy. All these procedures are performed laparoscopically very easily. The sleeve gastrectomy is somewhat like the band, meaning that it is a restrictive operation. A small pouch is created to limit the portions. That's it, it's very simple. The band requires a patient learn how to use the implant, and that's very difficult. The sleeve is simply a removal of about three quarters of the stomach. The anatomy is maintained. It's just smaller. So conceptually, it's kind of a no-brainer. It's safe. Um, it's probably in the short term a little more complicated than the band, but in the long term, we don't see near the, the long term effects that we do with the band and even the bypass. I want to emphasize that all three procedures are still widely performed, and there is one procedure that's right for every patient. Um, but I think with the consideration, with the introduction of the sleeve in between the other two, I think we can be successful with a wider variety of patients than we are now with, with just the band and the bypass.